Hey guys, Steve Sherberts here. So, uh, for this video, I thought I would talk about uh, my favorite characters in Degrassi the Next Class so far. Um, so, hopefully you saw my Degrassi the Next Class Episode 6 review. Um, and uh, I wanted to apologize for that video because even though I did upload it because I didn't want to reshoot it and talk about everything again. But, um, I it, it got cut short, so I didn't end it how I wanted to. The video went too long, um, so it, like it went o apparently over 50 minutes long is too long for YouTube in my case, anyways. So um, I'm gonna try to shorten the, the review videos so that way I can upload them, so that way they won't be too long for YouTube. Um, so yeah, but anyways, um, like I said, you saw my Degrassi Next Class reviews. Um, you will know that uh, so far I've been impressed with the show. I feel like um, the writing and uh, just the way the show is paced is like better and I feel like the show is more organic than the last few um, seasons of Degrassi The Next Generation which I felt were not good at all. Um, just my opinion anyways. But yeah, so overall I've been enjoying it so far and I episode 6 was definitely like, it definitely got bigger and things like intensified a lot more in my opinion. So. Yeah, and that's that's basically the reason I'm making this video is episode 6, because three characters right now stand out to me for whatever reason. Um, well, one, I kind of know more why, but like, the other two characters, I, I don't know why, they just stand out to me. But, um, but yeah, I'd like to talk about those characters, and um, then I'd like to talk a little bit more about the episode, because I didn't get to voice all my opinions on it, but anyways, we'll just get into it. So one of my favorite characters so far in the next class is definitely Zoe. Which is a surprise because, obviously, in the last few seasons of Degrassi: The Next Generation, she, like, she got her own storylines, but I don't feel like she really got um, enough development. I don't feel like she really got enough uh, screen time for her character to properly develop and for us to properly start to care about her. Which wasn't really her fault. Which wasn't really the her fault, or well, I guess it was kind of the producer's fault, but like. There were so many characters, like, there were so many generation of characters on the show at that point that, like, they couldn't, they couldn't, like, like, each character would get, like, two, ep like, two episodes dedicated to them if they were lucky. So, they couldn't really focus on, you know, the, the new set of characters like Zoe, Miles, um, Winston, etc. So, but this show, so far, I feel like those characters have gotten way more attention, way more focus, which is good. And that includes Zoe, um, and Zoe has really come a long way, like, when she first came in, into uh, Degrassi, she was obviously kind of like the Queen Bee, kind of, spo kind of spoiled, basically, and she was kind of, like, really mean and everything, but, like, she has really gotten, like, better, like, she's not, she's obviously doesn't act like a Queen Bee anymore, she doesn't, you know, she's not really mean anymore, um, and she's become a better person, um, which is very cool. And, um, I don't know, I just, I, I, I like Zoe, uh, I guess I'm kind of into, I just like brunettes with, with brown eyes, I guess, I, I don't, I don't know, but like, um, I don't know, she just, she's, the, the way the actress, um, you know, portrays the character, I really like, I think the actress is very good, um, you know, her whole, her whole storyline with, uh, her mom right now, you know, being like Catholic and everything, you know, her possibly, now, I haven't watched the rest of the Next Class episode, so, I do know she ends up, like, kissing Zig or something, so I guess she's not, a le she's not a lesbian, she I'm guessing she's more like, it's more like how Paige was, and, like, she was, she wasn't a lesbian, I think she was more, like, bisexual when she got with Alec, a Alex, sorry about that, but, um, anyways, yeah, the storyline, how her mom wants her to hang out with other people, because she doesn't want, you know, she's afraid that, um, you know, Zoe might be a lesbian, or she doesn't want people to think that she's a lesbian, you know, I thought that was really interesting, plus her trying to find her dad in the last episode, I thought was kind of funny, like, because her and uh, Grace went into that guy's trailer, and they, like, they were, like, looking, and then, um, the guy came in, and he's like, what the hell are you, what the hell are you guys doing in here, and everything, it was, I thought it was pretty funny, but yeah, I, I really, um, enjoyed that, um, the next character would be, uh, Grace, actually, uh, who, is kind of involved storyline with Zoe right now, and this could be because I just I just I like the storyline for some reason I don't know why like I thought it was kind of interesting how Grace had a uh, that disease the cystic fibrosis um, because 
we see we saw characters in the last show get like cancer um and different forms um I'm trying to think of another it seems like there was another uh sickness that, that that was portrayed in um in the grassy cancer is all that's coming to mind right now well obviously there were like uh stds in the grassy we dealt with those um and everything but I don't think we really dealt with a different type of disease and Grace um, like cystic fibrosis and Grace has that so hopefully she's able to um, find like some type of cure hopefully she can get better um, and so that way she won't end up you know dying or anything but I just found I just found that really interesting too like maybe that's the wrong word maybe interesting isn't the word for it because I don't want it to sound like morbid like I don't think that her being sick is like interesting or anything but I don't know, it's just, it's a, um, it's a good, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a good, like, plot device, and, um, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's, it's gonna be, um, something to watch, you know, finding out whether Grace will get better, or if she won't get better, because I'm sure that'll come back up in the, in the story, in the show, sorry, in the show at some point, so yeah, so I like those two characters, uh, for some reason they just stand out to me, I don't really know why, they just do, um, and then the other character that I really want to talk about, probably my most favorite character of this, uh, well, the first season anyway. They haven't really; they've only had one season, but so far in the new in the new Degrassi show, my favorite character is definitely Hunter. Um, he's obviously like where I'm at in the show. He's got that whole storyline with uh, the feminist club, and you know, having his having you know being being in his own club, having his own video game club and his issues with the feminist club, you know, the misogynist, um, sexist, uh, accusations, which I totally agree with Hunter. I think this is completely stupid. Um, I think that they are being way oversensitive. I think, you know, he basically said, you know, if they don't like it, they don't have to watch. And I think that's my exact same thoughts, but, uh, I don't know. I think I like Hunter because I can really relate to his character because um I'm not really much of a gamer myself, but like I have a lot of I have friends who are gamers and um none of us were really like the the popular or the cool ones and in, in like high school or anything. Like none of us were really ever like sporty. Um so we were never part of like the cool crowd or whatever. Not that we not that any of us really ever gave a crap or anything about being a part of the cool crowd. But like um and, like, I've always been more into, like, reading books and everything. I'm an avid reader, writing, um, stuff like that. Never really been into sports. Um, you know, like, I might play every once in a while, like, a game of basketball or something. It'd be fun, but, like, actual, like, competitive, like, actual sports, like NFL or NBA. Not really, been, never really been in that interested. Um, and also, Hunter has, like, a really bad anger problem. Um, and, well, I don't really have, like an anger problem, I do get really angry sometimes, and, um, in, like, elementary school, like, I would get angry, and, um, I would kind of, like, I wouldn't do the things like Hunter did, but I really would get angry, like, and I would let it show too much, and then, like, eventually I got to the point where when I get angry, I don't show it, I just kind of, kind of bottle it up, which I know isn't, like, the best thing, but I do work on it, um, so, don't really have an anger problem, but I can definitely relate to Hunter and the fact that he, you know, he gets really angry, he gets frustrated really easily, um, and I can definitely relate to that, um, so yeah, I think the reason that I, that Hunter is my favorite is because I can relate to the character, and, um, I think the way the actor, like, the actor who plays Hunter, I think that actor is great, like, seriously, that, that guy deserves, like, an award, or, like, some type of award for the, for being on the show, because I feel like he portrays the character very, very well, um, you know, all the emotions that he portrays, he portrays, like, they're spot on, um, so yeah, I think, I think that Hunter is a very interesting character, and I, I'm interested to see, you know, how his character is going to develop in the later seasons of the show, and how he's going to, um, uh, deal with the situation that he's in, because I, I know that, uh, because Neon Diamond 101's reviews, I know he brought a gun to school, I think, and he was going to, um, I think it was going to be like another school shooting, kind of like in the old, like we had in the old Degrassi with, uh, uh, what's his face, um, uh, what's, I can't remember the guy's name, the one with the glasses, like the one that, uh, um, and now I can't remember the name of the girl who dated him, uh, what was his name? 
uh, the one, Terry, the one that Terry, uh, was with, Rick, Rick was his name, Rick, like, when Rick, sh uh, shot off the school, or, like, when, um, KC brought a gun, but, like, he didn't do anything, like, he ended up, like, uh, you know, giving it to the teachers, and telling the teachers and everything about what happened with him, that one teacher, but that's, that's a, another different thing, but, yeah, apparently he brought a gun to school, and he was gonna, like, uh, do a shoot-up or something, but I don't think he did, I, I can't remember, I think, that's what Nina 9101 said, but, um, it's going to be interesting to see how he deals with that and how he deals with his anger issues. We've obviously seen, like, anger issues before with, uh, Riley in the old Degrassi, but, um, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how Hunter deals with all that, you know, and his, and his family drama as well, because obviously there's the whole thing with, uh, his dad and Miles, you know, because Miles doesn't want his dad around. But, um, yeah, I'm really interested to see how his character develops, um, how this whole situation with uh, the feminist club is going to play out, and um, because I really think that the thing that the the accusations that the feminist club are making are totally unjustified. I think that they're being, like I said, totally in, totally overly sensitive. Um, you know, it's like Hunter went to apologize to the one Muslim girl because he did he did say something that was too far. Like he basically called her like a terrorist, like. He didn't straight up call her a terrorist, but he basically just insinuated that she wore the, you know, the thing over her head, so she's a terrorist, but, uh, it was stupid, I mean, it, it, that was going too far, but, like, he went back to apologize, and she just kept, like, she kept twisting his words around, throwing them back in his face, and, like, he was real, he was really trying his best to apologize, like, you could tell, but, like, she just kept twisting his words around, she kept getting, like, offended by everything he said, um, just being, like, overly sensitive, and I just, I feel Hunter's frustration, man, I mean, like, I, I'm behind him 100, well, maybe not 100%, but I am mostly behind him, um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's video just totally went another direction, now I'm just going on a rant about the Feminist Club on Degrassi, but anyways, um, but yeah, Hunter is definitely my favorite character, um, because he is very relatable, in my opinion, um, Zoe and Grace, too, for whatever reason, I'm not even sure why I really like those characters, but I just do. I think that, I don't know, I, find, I always find, like, the gothic chicks to be really interesting characters. I just, I do, I find them to be just usually one of the, some of the more interesting characters on the show. Um, and, like, I used to not care about Zoe at all, but now she's, like, one of my favorite characters on the show. I don't know how, but same way with Hunter, though, because, like, when Hunter first came on the show, I was like, oh, great uh, Miles' brother, yippee, but now it's like he's gone to being that, to be, like, one of my, like, my favorite character on this show, so that's pretty cool, but I think that really goes to show how good the actor is, too, and the act, the actors, I'm talking about the actresses and the actors, so that's pretty cool, but yeah, those are my favorite characters on the show right now, and, um, I guess my opinions on my, the more my opinions on the last episode that I watched, but, uh, yeah, so that's about it for this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.